When trying to research different types of agar recipes, we found it difficult to locate which types there are and what actual recipes work to benefit mycelium growth. In one of our previous videos, we discussed how to make an MEA, or malt extract agar. We found that the results were amazing after we made our transfers, but we weren't getting that amazing rhizomorphic growth we wanted. Through much research, in many transfers, we found the perfect recipe to get that beautiful rhizomorphic growth we wanted. MYA, or malt yeast agar, is an amazing agar recipe. This recipe gives the perfect nutritional source from the malt extract, but the addition of nutritional yeast will promote that booming rhizomorphic growth in your mycelium cultures. Nutritional yeast can be found in most health stores or online and comes in various forms from powdered to large flake. Both of these are good, but you do want to make sure you grind it to as fine of a powder as you can. We experimented with many different recipes and we really feel like we've perfected this one. So when creating 500 milliliters, you want to use 10 grams of agar, 7.5 grams of malt extract, 0.25 grams of nutritional yeast. Yes, that's 0.25 grams of the nutritional yeast, again, to create 500 milliliters. When working with the nutritional yeast, even when you created a fine powder, it will leave a cloudiness to your agar and particulates. We've tried straining this out and it's still there and it's okay. We have not experienced any contamination. It's been a really positive recipe with just so much rhizomorphic growth. So the particulates and the cloudiness are just not a problem at all. Pressure cook for no longer than 20 minutes at 15 PSI so you don't caramelize the sugars or overcook the nutrients. We love hearing from you in the comments below. Thanks so much for hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified when we have new videos for you.